Hello, everybody. My name is Mr. Craven, and this is The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 5. I think this is the... Yeah, this is the... Season finale. Here we go. The ending of the last episode. It's brutal. Like, I'm really... I know that things are going to end a certain way, no matter what. So, like... I really hope I... I don't know. I hope I don't fuck that up. Let's do it. Jump right in. I had to shoot Rebecca, because she was turning. I was about Phoenix to chomp on her baby. The walking dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. It'll put you out of your misery right then. I look at Kenny now. He just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Things start heading south. Don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be cool. Our first thought was immediately, you gotta save that baby. Maybe I should have called for help, but she had she had turned. She was already. Like, uh, I think Mike's gonna die in this. I'm trying to think of, like the characters that don't, not like they don't matter. I'm trying to think of like which characters are expendable right now. I gotta get that baby. I wonder if I would have called for help if Rebecca would still be alive right now, like clawing at it. Okay, Kenny's over there. Ah. Hey! What are you doing? I gotta get that baby! Clamp. Get that baby! Shit. I didn't even see him out there. Yeah, dickhead. See, okay, sorry. I sometimes I just have to pause to get my thoughts out. Uh, because everything just moves so quickly. Luke is a nice guy, but they play him as such an idiot. Like he was supposed to be looking out for walkers and stuff, then he fucks Jane. And like he was about to just totally abandon Sarah. Like, and just now he was like not even thinking about the baby. I don't think they speak English. English, motherfucker! I can just get over to that side of the wall. I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover, right? Just shoot over to his woods. Hey, it'll give him something to think about. Yeah, okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? Ah!
Oh, Kenny's gonna grab the kid. No, fuck that. Jane coming in clutch. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. I take all their guns, like, loot the fuck out of them. Kenny doesn't even want to look at me. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. I didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. He deserved it. He was trying to kill us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but I felt wrong. Come on. Okay. Bonnie gets it. That's good. Your fault, okay? She just, she just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah, yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. How is Luke still standing? How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Oh, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Move out of the way, Mike. You, Clint, you, you don't mean that. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can thank you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be I stupid. Don't... He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us? Uh, I, I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. He's lying. We can't trust him. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. I agree with, I, I agree with her. I agree with her. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. I do not trust this kid. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Said that his sister was sick. 
and so he was hiding that medicine somewhere. Like I don't. Follow me. I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. So okay, so here's my thought process right now. Him and his sister were going to just take all those meds and escape these guys. But then they met us and we robbed them. Because I, again, Kenny needed his eye, like, helped. Uh, Luke had broken ribs. And Becca was having the baby. So I was like, we need medical supplies. So of course I'm going to take this. And now I think that he was bringing them back with weapons, armed, to ambush us. To get it back. And had we not taken it, they were still going to come rob us. Like, he was going to come back. I do not trust this kid. Where's the baby? Oh. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helps... Thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me, you want a cookie? Everything I've seen, everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's that's good. Because you're probably ninety percent of the reason I came back. Is Luke the other ten? Probably get pretty annoying. I hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No, that would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have a few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm also. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. Yeah. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through, he's lost. It's changing him. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. Slow pokes. Shut up, Bonnie. They make you choose some awful stuff in this game. It's like every choice is like a lose lose situation sometimes. That's a very spiky tree. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. <laughs> what is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put him in the place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends in the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes, they're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. 
Yeah, that makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into me. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? For what? I'll be right back. One sec. Okay. We have a inspection for the flat today. Uh, so I have to answer a few texts. So hopefully no more during the recording. Don't worry. You're going to be okay. Yeah, if that bullet didn't go all the way through, then... That's bad. We gotta, we gotta fish that out. Blaming yourself for this. I like I like Luke and Bonnie together. That makes sense. Uh him and Jane just doesn't can you drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Shut up. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on King's wound. I offer. Why do I have to look at the gaping eyeball? You know better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. I don't know. It might be gross. Oh, it's definitely going to be gross. <laughs> <laughs> that don't change that it needs doing. All right. That's going to stay, but only for a second. It's going to clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's going to suck. It's going to mm -hmm. get done. Because she had to do that to her arm in episode one. Hi, Kenny. AJ. I think AJ proves what do you uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. The body. I'm changing your bandage. Changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Well.
gonna. All right, buddy. Oh, look at him. Kenny. All done. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Are you ready to go? Let's head out. Okay, so I died. Cool. I thought something bad was going to happen. Like that spiky tree, I was like, oh, someone's going to end up on that. Much English. Yeah, no shit. Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it. I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Yeah, let's try to get in. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. He's probably hungry. No, that's all you. <laughs> Cute. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. <laughs> I think he likes you. Palmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Mm hmm Here, I got them. Thank you. Come on over. It's safe. 
Yeah, they're both shot. Arvo has a limp and also will kill us the second he gets a, gets a chance. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. Damn, I'm 10 years older than him. <laughs> Shut up, Clem. I feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. What'd you study? At least I don't have to worry oh. about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. Probably. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. How is it happening? They get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion. Call it being your birthday and all. Figure. This is as good a time as any. I'd like to sit. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, time. wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the. Uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That well, was... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. Baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah, the last time... Last time we saw hit, saw Kenny drink, he got, like, really drunk at the Crawford house. Uh, or the Savannah house. Once we got back from Crawford. So, like, I wonder if he's drank any since then. Because he got nice. shit-faced. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out. She up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting out of all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Will she help us back there? So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. See, I like those two together. I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. <laughs> Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. That's gross. Yes, <laughs> we shouldn't be talking about it. I also like her and Mike. Bonnie and Mike together. I like that. Poor Mike. I don't think he's gonna make it through this, though. Like, I, like. Maybe she came back for you. She. He's just not getting very much character development. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him. No, well, I think we could bet on that. Cause you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. 
worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. So she admit it. She wants to fuck Luke. Well, there you go, Luke. Clem, Maybe you can double dip. can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this and change the lights. Can I sneak a sip? Can't talk to them. Arvo. Come on, don't. This this is fucked. This is fucked. I'm I'm sorry about your sister. Leave me alone, please. That's fucked. At least, like, tie him up closer to the fire. Like, there has to, like, tie him up to the fence. Or, like, there has to be something else you can tie him up to. Here you go. Will Jane take a sip? expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? <laughs> probably. Here you go. feel like I'm signing a contract or something. It's just a drink. Don't overthink it. That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sit? It's okay. It just might burn a little. You'll feel it in your nose. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> Maybe you can be the designated driver. <laughs> cool. I don't, don't, I don't want to go drive talk to Kenny it's easier now with alcohol in my breath. You know he'd get pissed. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem. Did she eat glass? Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. A deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Yeah, he's next. Time to not make it weird. Hey! I'm gonna sit next to him. Wanna sit here? 
No, that's... I'm fine. Awkward! Um, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. What if I can go talk to her and be like, get over there? No? Okay. Damn it. Okay, dog. How about you? I'll watch him. And he's getting like so attached to this kid. Just uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for how I acted back there after Sarita was. I just, I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help. And I blamed you for it. I don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there. Alive for a couple of years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yes. Yeah, okay. Seems secure enough for one night anyways. There's like a gaping hole. Ah. Kenny fucks me up. And can we please get Arvo next to the fire? That's so sad. Jay, you don't have to justify that with your response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out and open. Let's drop. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> <laughs> Mike hasn't had any, has he? Can we please? Can we please let him next to the fire? Got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rope. He lost his sister today. Whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to do. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. Sorry, okay? My fault. I 
shouldn't have. Leave me alone! Kenny, chill out. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's the best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long we'll be back tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Stop taking the baby out in the cold. Sure you're good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. But um, I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? That was close. What was that? Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. So if I would have two people split off and go from the sides once we get there. Because I don't trust this kid. There. That piece of shit is half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Quiet a place. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. It looks like it's empty. Yes, it's empty. I thought so too. But now that he said that, I'm not sure. Same. If it ain't, kid's gonna wish it was. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Don't you an American asshole? It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. All right, who's dying? Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. Is it gonna be Mike? No, he has the baby. Hopefully not Bonnie. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, I hate this. <sighs> oh, I hate this. We're okay. Don't worry. Luke? Don't step there. Okay. Oh, there's walkers. Of course. It's probably gonna be with them on the ice as well.
I don't trust him, but like, I don't want to torture people either. That's fucked up. Well, they made it. Luke? Don't come over here. Clem's later. I'm going for him. I'm going for him. Stop telling her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, it's too dangerous. I'm going for it. Clementine, stop! Clementine! Bonnie has a gun. She can do it. They all have guns. They can do it. I'm the lightest person. I can get to him. Please let me get Luke. I got you. Please let me get Luke. It's gonna be all right. Fuck. He doesn't deserve to get fucking beaten what to death. To There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help? How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. 
How's the Kenny's fault? I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't like the idea of torturing somebody and beating them. Like, this kid hasn't, like, I don't trust this kid, but he doesn't deserve to be just tied up and beaten. That's fucking insane. And Kenny's losing it. He is... He is not doing well. Also, at some point, I need okay. to, I need to stop this episode, and make a copy of my save file so I can get all the endings for Act Two because there's multiple endings for this one, for Season Two, and then I'm gonna have y'all vote on which one should be our, our canon ending. That leads into Season Three. Jesus, he could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. find something to clean that up. Mike and Arvo Thank you. are I can't take this shit anymore. Two peas in a pod. Is Arvo gonna is Mike gonna like take him away? Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. We'll be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. Aw, baby I'll in a box. It. Cute little box, baby. Clem. Okay, maybe right about now, I should end and back up the save file. Alright. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he 
taught me respect. A girl like Jane would learn a thing or two about that. Oh, God. We were all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. Anything else in here? Okay. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road. Really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something eh. out here. Snow and goddamn Euro trash. <laughs> Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Oh, it's being Mexico. That's why she said it. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! We'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving it with that girl. What is his sudden hate boner for Jane? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. Ooh, bulldozer. I guess, uh, what is this thing? Excavator. Like, does this thing have a battery? Wish they'd finished this place. Okay. Bonnie, you smoking? Where'd you get those cigarettes? Want one? Ew. No thanks. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. I wanted to kill you. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? All the time. Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. No. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't really know what I want. Maybe I ought to start thinking about it. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? You want to start like a... Woman run I'm gonna go take a piss. colony or something like that. Okay, go piss, girl. <laughs> Can't go piss with you. Am I going inside? Ladder generator? Busted. All right. 
Let's see. Before I go inside, is there anything else out here? Oh boy. This like these games really don't give you like a second to breathe. It's like little moments like this. I'm just like, oh, okay. Alright. Hi, Jane. Hey. Mike and Orvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Mike's playing on something. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too, once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's going to puke. <laughs> no. He's going to puke or are you going to puke? Like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's going to puke. It's not going to puke. <laughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. <laughs> Where'd they get that from? I was running with some people a long time ago down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. There we go. I made another save. Uh, back up with the save. Every time we get past a chapter, going towards the end, I'm gonna make a backup, just so I don't fuck myself and we can't do all the endings. What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah. There's more. I agree. We should head back south. What? kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was like Right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? What? Not that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. 
man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an agent. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. You should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped us too much. But maybe if you eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! You can't just walk away from us! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. They put so much pressure on this little kid. God damn it! It's stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane'd have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike'd have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. We got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we going to find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. I wish Lee was here. Me too. What'd you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. I love Kenny so much, but fuck, but he is just... Now, there have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. That's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Get some sleep, so we gotta be ready.
<sighs> Let me make a backup. What's that sound? Yep. Mike and Orville are gonna fucking split. They're gonna take the truck and go. Mike is saving this kid. Like, he for real is just saving this kid. Oh shit, hold on. I should have fucking killed that kid. Huh, oh, Lee? Don't do this to me. Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea.
We know he has. Yeah. Grim, people don't always make sense. I miss Lee so much. Man, fuck them for doing this. What if that was the end of season two? Wouldn't that be fucked? On the left. Slow down. Shut up. She's awake. Awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ears, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around oh, just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. Don't touch her, Kenny. I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you want. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. 
What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clem. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. Where were you? I was there. I couldn't. God damn you, I love that woman. Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. We can't talk back you. Fuck you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. you fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> Fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. I'm shot. Penny, I'm. Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. You got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right. If you're going, go now. Kenny. Fuck. You fucking asshole. God. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around you. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. How are they not cold enough? Hi. Well, come on in. Get out of there. The door is stuck. Shit. Shit. There are more of them. Move. Jane. Clint. Clint, hurry. Get out. Hurry. Jane. Oh, it is, it is bright, bright. I love Kenny, but oh my god, he is he has lost it. And Jane's not helping either. Damn, she's a fucking crack shot. I can't see shit.
Let's just walk past that one. Go this way. I think right now my my immediate thought for the ending. I think I have a clear choice for what I want to do. There she is. Okay, let me make it back up with the save, just so I can get back to this point really quick. Let's go. No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what happens. She's going for that eyeball. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. I'm leaving them both as my, as my ending. I'm leaving them both. I mean, that baby still could have died in that car. She could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagine what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. Dangerous, mm -hmm. too.
Fuck. I couldn't shoot Kenny. I love him too much, but I can't stay with him. Like, he is... He's just too broken, and he has too much anger. Too much rage. Like, he's just lashing out at everybody around him, including Clem. I'm gonna get the other endings. I'm gonna let y'all pick which one's gonna be our... Season 2 canon ending. Gonna cover yourself in some guts. Ah, oh, watch that wound. You don't have to put it on his face, just put it on the blanket. Fuck. Oh boy. <sighs> Alright, let's do the other endings. Then uh, I'll have a link in the description for a poll to where you guys can take a look. Or uh, vote on what other, or what the true ending we do should be. Hey everybody, it's a few days later. Uh, I have some friends in from England, and so we've been showing them around. I uh, just haven't had time to do the different endings for The Walking Dead. And unfortunately, the backups that I made just didn't work. Like, I still have to replay the entire episode if I want to do this. So instead, I found a video. Shout out to Izuni. Damn, 2.5 million subs. Damn, good for you. Uh, so we're going to watch these endings, and then I'm going to have a poll down in the comments in the description uh, where I want you all to vote on what is going to be our canon ending and then i'll replay episode five and do that ending for y'all that for season three when that starts Does that make sense uh so in the first ending i walked away from kenny so let's go to an ending where we stick with kenny hey listen i didn't want that to happen either I thought she'd killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I'd never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just I want to. What she did I to want Alvy. to believe you. I just. Everything just went black. I. I believe you. Okay. Uh. Thanks. I love Kenny. Love him to death, but 
he's he's just broken. Let's put some miles between us in this place. Like anytime anything even slightly goes wrong in this season, he's straight to violence, straight to anger. A lot of it's like weirdly directed at us. So it seems like all the endings pick up nine days after uh, the fight. It's just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. Come on, I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, Kenny. And her poor on, arm. Albie. We got this. You cheated. Shingeki no Kyojin. Attack on Titan shit. Holy shit. They're at Wal Maria. You did it, Clem. It's gotta be it. I... <laughs> How do you know? A giant wall out in the middle of nowhere? Come on. That's gotta be it. What are we waiting for? Come on. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. Finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Her poor arm. Approach the gate. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Damn, how'd they build this? Sounds good. Hi. I'm Edith. Name's Kenny. And this year's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. So, this is Wellington, Where right? the fuck is Krista? A lot of people call it that. Okay. So, what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. The hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change in you a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. But, but, we have a baby. This, this is hard for me, too. I don't want to turn it. I don't think away, saying that I have a baby children, would but convince anybody. What? Please, just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, it's I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe Maybe. in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. Oh, my God. I'll... I'll ask. Just give me a second. <sighs> Kenny, what are you doing? You don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are! It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now.
We can take the children, but... Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance. For you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please, I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here, where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way. For both of you. Think about Alvy here. Please, Clem. Just do as I'm asking. This one last time. Kenny. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. Okay. Okay, we'll stay. So this is the I stay in Wellington stay. ending. This is the right decision. Okay. Right. When he's grown, you tell him about his mommy and his daddy and all the people who tried to keep him safe. You tell him, okay? He deserves to know. Uh, I got to... Oh, here. Here. Take this. Ew. When he... When he's old enough, you make him oh, aware Kenny. of it. It'll, it'll keep the sun out of his eyes. That's important. All right. For him. Please. Now, you take care of Alvin here. You, you live a good life, okay? Don't waste this, okay? Now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go before one of us. Oh, Kenny. Before one of us changes their mind. I'm gonna walk away. I might not look back. Not because I don't want to. I'm real glad to have met you, Clementine. This poor guy. He said so much awful shit happened to him that he's just. He's just not safe to be around anymore. And he, he sees it. He knows it. Oh, that makes me sick. Oh, that makes me sick. Oh, cool. This goes right into the next one. No! We're leaving. All of us. Together. Claire, please. It's safe here. You need to Stop. think about the... Stop! Okay? We're not staying, so just stop. That's that. It sounds like... It sounds like she means business. Even she's fucked off about it. Come on, we're leaving. Sick, thank you. <laughs> I got double loot drops. Her group, but, uh, look, if you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help, and uh, I'm sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there. Cute. I had to swap videos. Uh, that one had a big annotation at the end. 
So thank you to AF Guides HD. 1.5 million subs. God, these guys have a shit ton of subs. Let's go back to this one since it has the subtitles. Uh, let's go to. Ooh, okay. Let's finish up Kenny's endings. This one's this one's sick. This one makes me feel ill. Adrian, he's gone, Clem. She, she just. How could she do that? Oh Jesus! He's gone. He's. Do it. Oh my god. Just... just do it. Look at him. How did she hear that baby through the wind and through the glass of the car? There, there, EJ. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. This ending is so bleak. Because, like, at least in the other Clem ends up alone endings, Jane is still alive out there somewhere, or Kenny is al alive out there somewhere. But this one, they're both just dead. And you end up at the, the field. Yeah, so we've seen this ending. So let's do the Jane endings really quick. God damn it, Kenny. And God damn you, Jane. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You kind of got stabbed in the chest a little bit. Again, how did they hear this? <laughs> like, how did they hear that baby? I don't get it. Oh, I guess she knows where the baby is. Jane would know. Okay? He 
he's alive. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. Fucking manipulation. I'm going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. But it's over now. We're all safe. We're going to be okay. I don't understand. Kenny was dangerous. And I needed you to see that. One way or another. What are you saying? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. It was a stupid... I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. Gross. I did it for you, Clem. For us. We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. And so we're doing the uh, stick with Jane Thank endings. Thank you, Clem. You were right about Kenny. All along, you knew what he was gonna do. It's she kind of she kind of forced that situation, though. Let's just put all this behind us. Like, there's so many different ways that that could have played out, different routes that she could have taken, but instead she forced this fight, this this scenario. Maybe she didn't think that Kenny would go as ape shit as he did, but she expected a fight. She expected him to re react crazily or violently. It's like she forced this situation. Back at house. Can't see much from here. Come on. I'm like looking at all the bodies on the ground, looking for uh like Sarita. Any of the four hundred days people. Damn. I don't I don't know how you were able to watch that. I've seen worse. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. Clem. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. They don't look armed. Is this your place? We're just passing through. Yeah? How fast do you think? We haven't decided yet. We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just... Hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Where you girls been? Why do you care? Yeah. Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Everywhere. All over. You, uh, been up north? Yeah. Yeah. Us too. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. That's the character model for Molly. Just recolored. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you, as a father, Please, don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. They could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please. We'll die out here. Hmm. Just give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. You won't regret it. I promise you. I bet I will. You have to let us in. Come in. 
Thank you. So this Around is the, the let them stay ending. You sure about this? This place is a mess, and I don't know how long that food will last. It'll take a lot of work. Maybe we can start something here, Jane. It's not much, but we'll make it better. I would have told that family to fuck off. Just keep your eyes on him. We'll be fine. It's mostly the guy. I would have been like, the woman and kid can stay, but you leave. It's a similar situation as what uh, Wellington did. My name's Patricia. Hi, Patty. Jane. Thank you, Jane. Don't mention it. Thank you so much. Of course. Then quickly turns to... Cool hat. Yeah, thanks. Ugh. So I think this is the same one, but we tell them to go away. Do we really want to go through this again? Please. We'll die out here. Just give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. You won't regret it. I promise you. You have to let us in. We ain't gotta do shit. Leave. What? You heard me. Now. Please, don't do this. Are you sure you want to do this, little girl? I mean, what if... What if we're dangerous? What if I am? Come on, honey. Let's go. Thanks for doing that. After looking at that kid, I wasn't sure if I could. But we had to. We have to look out for ourselves now. Sometimes you have to hurt someone else to protect the people you care about. Lisa, that. A friend told me that once. They might come back. Then we'll be ready. Damn. Damn. Ugh. Uh, and I guess this is the one where we tell Jane to fuck off. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. For us. We're free now. I'm not going anywhere with you. Clem, please. I did this for you. I can't do this alone. Okay? Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Clem? And then this is another ending where Clem is alone in the field. So I think that's all the endings. That's, uh... Oh, wait, I don't think we saw the... Let Kenny kill Jane. Wait, no, I think we did, actually. Yeah, never mind. So that's both Jane endings, or all three Jane endings. All the Kenny endings. Yep. Cool. So let's go and stop it there. I'll have a poll in the description and in the comments. Uh, which ending do you all like the most? Whichever one wins, I'll have to replay uh, episode five anyways, because the save files are all fucked up. Uh, and then I'll pick whatever ending is the winner. I'll have that be our canonical ending for season two.
Huh. This was brutal. This season was it was good. It was better than I thought it was. Uh or rem remembered it being. Um I played it when it first came out, episode by episode, and I really didn't remember a whole lot about it. I remembered like the big like big plot points, like, you know, the birth of the baby. Uh Kenny versus Jane, Kenny versus Carver, stuff like that, but there's a lot of other stuff I just totally forgot. I can't remember a damn thing about season three. So that's all going to be basically fresh for me. <laughs> well, cool. Uh, be sure to vote in that poll. Um, and thank you for, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. This has been a really fun series to go through so far. It's emotionally devastating, but I like it. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah.